we're going to be talking about how to prevent burnout in 2023. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information about me. I have a really hard time saying no. I can talk about all my, you know, history about that, my childhood traumas, being the oldest child, a daughter, right? All of the things that make it really hard for me to say no. So what I end up doing is overextending myself. I'm like pulled in, you know, seven different directions, 10 different directions sometimes. And so I have learned for me, the only way to prevent burnout is to not become overwhelmed. And the way that I don't become overwhelmed is to say no and to cut back. It was funny because I was talking to a therapist friend of mine and we are so similar. And we were talking about how we have to say no and we have to cut back and we have to stop giving. Therapists are givers. Like it's just, we either give our heart, we give our time, we give our emotions, we give money, we give all kinds of things, right? It is just such a common theme that I see where rescuers, right? Like totally get that. And I think a lot of the times that it becomes hard to say no. When a client says, can you just squeeze me in? You know, I'm having a really tough time. It's like easy to say yes. You think about all of the different things. Like I can make a little extra income. Yeah, I can like, I could do it. Sure, I can squeeze you in at seven. You know, it's not a big deal. I don't like whatever. You know, we we bend our boundaries. Like we, we don't hold what we need, right? We really think about other people. And I think therapists get so burnt out for a variety of reasons, whether they give too much, they don't hold their boundaries, they don't say no, and they end up like at the end of the year, like we're coming to the end of the year feeling like, oh my God, I just need a break. I can't, you know, I I don't want to see any more clients. I, you know, I really want to shift what I'm doing. And I think that it's really important to prevent getting to that point. When you're already burnt out, it's almost a little too late, right? Like for therapists, it's like when we're already stressed out. And for me, I actually think a lot more about burnout when I think about my agency job than I think about in private practice because the great thing about private practice is that you can build in certain things. Like when I was seeing clients, I did not see clients on Fridays, uh, you know, eventually. And that was a really good way for me to recoup my energy. So Monday through Thursday, I grinded. I saw a lot of clients. If somebody needed to squeeze somebody in, I would. But on Friday, that was my day. I took time for myself. And even now, even though I'm not seeing clients, I really try to keep Fridays for like fun things, for social events, for networking events. I don't try to schedule a lot of meetings because I really like to have Fridays to be a flexible day so I can recoup my energy. So I want you to think about how you can prevent burnout, right? Like not how you can, if you're already burnt out, like don't let it get to that point. No, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you're like in the flow and it's really Uh, stressful, especially when there's other things going on. A lot of people worry about money, right? Money leads to a lot of burnout in private practice because if we need money, right? We need money and we all need money for a variety of reasons. But if we really feel like our practice isn't where we need to be, or maybe you have some kind of family situation that's going on, you're the primary breadwinner winner, or you're taking care of family members and you need more money, it's very easy to say yes to a lot of things, a lot of clients. And so then you, again, feel burnt out. And so I really want you to think about how can you prevent getting to that place? Can you do things to say no when you want to say no? If you want to say yes, say yes, right? There are things that I absolutely say yes to that I enjoy, I love, might take my time, it might take my energy, but I love it, right? I'm notorious for saying yes to lunches. I will complain about having to go to lunches. I'm like, oh, I like said yes to this person. And I, you know, I have like seven other things I want to do. But when I get there, I'm like, yes, it like refills my cup. I love meeting with people. I'm an extrovert. So that is very helpful to me. So I actually say yes to a lot more lunches than I probably should. But because I feel so energized after I leave those lunches and I feel connected to people. But there are other things that I should say no to and that you should say no to to protect your energy. We're going to talk about burnout a little bit more, but first let's thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes, who helps me from keeping burnt out in my private practice. They really are a full service electronic health record. They have a free telehealth option. You can bill insurance. You can take credit card payments. They send reminders to clients. You can write your notes through there. And what really makes them stand apart and what helps me is the free customer service option. You can give them a call. You can pick up the phone. They will guide you through whatever questions you have. So I really want to thank Therapy Notes as our sponsor. So going back to burnout, again, think about how can you prevent burnout in 2023? How can you 
protect your energy? How can you protect your boundaries? How can you say no to things that are an energy drain for you, right? How can you make more money without going outside of your schedule or just saying yes to clients, maybe who aren't an ideal fit or saying yes to, you know, squeezing somebody in when you really need to take a lunch, right? Do you have a lunch break? Are you scheduling vacations? Are you doing things that really fill your cup up? Do you like going to conferences, to networking events? Put that in your calendar now. Plan your year out, right? And really put down everything you need to put down. And then if all else fails, get an accountability partner. My therapist friend and I are absolutely accountability partners for each other. We'll be like, oh, you know, I've been saying yes to things I shouldn't have. Like, can I check in with you? Find somebody that can serve as your accountability partner so you are not super burnt out in 2023. I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye.